Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metange Proprietor Limited, and in this short video, I want to show you how using Learn Medsim or Learn APL for Medsim makes learning to use APL in Medsim easy. One of the difficulties for the new Medsim user is learning the APL special characters and their shortcut uh, key combinations. And for users with a non-US keyboard, such as Russian English or French English, Spanish English, this can be more of a problem. So in Learn Medicine, we've provided a way to bypass learning the key combinations or even learning what each character does from memory. This is not meant to stop you learning APL properly, and Learn Medicine guides you through everything about APL. It's just to help you get started and enjoy doing powerful maths things with APL straight away. <coughs> On the menu system, the drop down menu, the second from the left, APL, lists many categories of APL characters, and the last one is APL surrogates. When you click on that, you see a listing in two columns of short text which is either the word and name for the APL primitive or a letter abbreviation as a clue for what it does. So we can see the first two, Rho and Iota, they are the Greek names for the APL symbols, but others, <coughs> excuse me, such as ceiling, floor, roll, knot, absolute, etc. are more descriptive of what the character does. Each of these words provides a replacement for the APL primitive in Learn Medicine. I'm going to demonstrate this by first starting with a proper APL expression which will create a four row, three column array using the numbers one to 12. So in APL that is four for rows, three for columns, row, which is reshape, iota, which is an index generator, and the number 12. And APL executes from right to left. So that is using the numbers generated by the index generator the numbers 1 to 12 reshape those numbers to create a data structure with four rows and three columns. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I execute that, we're going to see the APL expression echoed in the session or the working area of Learn Medicine, and we'll see the result of that expression. So I'm going to click into the end of the expression and press enter. And there we see, there is the expression as I entered it, and there is the result, a 4x3 array using the numbers generated by the index generator, the numbers 1 to 12. Okay. But as for myself, I'm familiar with APL and the shortcut. It's natural and it's an it's, um, efficient way to work. But for the first-time user of um, APL, or an early user in APL, you may remember that Rho is the reshape and IOTA is the index generator, but you can't remember the shortcut combinations for those characters, or you're just not sure of your keyboard mapping. So instead, I'm going to repeat that, um, but this time I'll, I'll uh, generate something with five rows and three columns, and instead of Alt R for row, I'll type the word row, and then instead of Alt I for iota, I'll type the, uh, the word iota, and again I'll use the number 12. So 5 rows, 3 columns, 5 threes to 15, I'm going to generate the numbers 1 to 12. Okay, let's see what happens. So when I enter, click on enter, to enter anywhere in the command line, for that expression, the expression will be repeated and the results will be shown. But this time we'll see a difference. You'll see my expression is using surrogates or words. When I press enter, I can see my expression is repeated, but the words or the surrogates have been replaced with the proper APL characters. And there's my five row 
by three column array using the numbers 1 to 12 and we needed 15 numbers and so APL just repeated got to the end of the 12 that were available and started repeating which is uh, very um, thoughtful of it. Okay so we entered an expression using surrogates or words or easy to understand simple um, replacements for the APL primitives and we see that Learn Medicine uh, converted that for us into APL characters or primitives. So what I can do now is control C, select and control C on that expression which Learn Medicine has converted. I can paste it into anywhere in Medicine that will accept an expression such as the APL keyboard and execute and we see it executes in Metsim exactly the same as it does in Learn Metsim. And very quickly while we're here you can note some similarities between Metsim's APL keyboard with the APL keyboard graphic and a command line or edit box for entering an APL expression and then a working area where the results of the expression is shown. But you'll notice that in Learn Metsim, uh, there's a growing or rolling history of everything we've done, um, whereas in the Metsim APL keyboard, this green area, the content is replaced each time an expression is executed. There are some efficiency advantages in, in what is provided here in Learn Metsim in that you can always come back later and either select an expression and press the key combination of um, shift control u which will execute it again or if it's a single line like this just put your cursor somewhere at the end of that line and press enter and that um, expression will be executed again. So we can see that surrogates uh, helps initially um, in providing a simple way to type in a more descriptive um, way of uh, using the primitives. And we can also see because of the easy to understand description of some of these um, rather, initially at least, rather obscure looking um, APL primitives that we've got a very nice simple way of doing simple interesting things. So for example, if we look at this one, roll, and its example uses question mark B, where B is a variable. So if we think about it, um, what, you roll a dice and a dice has six sides, and you might get the number five. And if you were to repeat that, and this, I'm going to use the up arrow when I'm in the enter APL command to, to get back the last expression entered and I can keep going backwards and forwards um, and I'll come back to roll six so we do roll six again and I've rolled the dice and it's the number one so we can see many simple things like reciprocal pi log uh, cos sine tan etc that have been provided in, in surrogates as simple words. So I think that's enough for now. I hope that was useful and thank you for your time.